I forgot to unmute myself. Okay. Anyway. I got so distracted watching Pippa's stream. She's talking about Florida man. Florida man. She was with another face connect VTuber too. Incredible. Just absolutely incredible the things people do. I don't know how that that girl she's able to find the most crazy stuff. Like the absolute most insane shit you have ever seen. And she finds it and puts it on display for the world. It's great. I love it. I love Pippa. I love her. I'm not a simp. To your knowledge. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. <laughs> anyway, uh, hello, hello, I am Katara Kaelin, and we are playing What Remains of Edith Finch today. Game, hello. All right, so I did kind of postpone the stream a little bit today. So we're we're doing this two hours later than usual. Um, I just kind of want to see. I just kind of want to see if this time slot works out a little better for people. And <clears throat> I know that usually it's a little early, so. Yeah. Okay. So I have, I know basically nothing about this game. I saw the trailer about a month ago. I bought the game. All I know is it's some sort of depressing story puzzle game. And I'm down for that today. I am very down for that today. So I think we're kind of trying to parse together what happened to her. So, we don't know if she's dead or not. I think we're playing as her, at least to start. Um, please let me know how the audio is. Um, it seemed really loud earlier, so I turned it down a lot. If it's too quiet or too loud, just let me know and I'll tweak it. Okay? Because the boat's kind of loud. Hmm. Alright, so we got Chinese takeout, cigarette butt. Um, also, if it's a little crunchy, again, just let me know. I'll try to fix it. I um, wonder how long we could be on the boat if we just don't do anything. I had to turn the graphics down a little bit just so it wasn't absolutely chuggy in OBS. I think we're okay at this point. I can't see Task Manager. Task Manager! Come here! Please! Ah! That's not what I meant to do. I just want to move you, not full screen you. Okay. Okay. Book. We have a cast in Lily's. Edith Finch. Puget Sound. Puget Sound paper products. Hmm? A lot of oh. this isn't going okay. to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. Wait, 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 come back. At the beginning with the house. Okay, I hope the voice was loud enough there. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. What? Let's see, date miss. Uh oh, is this because I turned the textures down? Okay, let's. This can be really hot for really texture quality. Let's just try turning that back up to ultra. Are we? Oh, oh, that is that is the problem setting. I'm pretty sure. 
Like, it's fine on my screen, but OBS is... And I don't think it solved the poster anyway. Okay. Back to high. Okay. We'll just... Leave it. We'll just have to... We'll just have to pretend we're very, um, nearsighted. It's fine. Milton Finch. Is he on the... He is. So, he was the middle child. So, Lewis was... The eldest sibling, but died in 2010. Milton was the middle. He was born in 92 and vanished in 03. And then Edith here, our protagonist, was born in 99. And we don't know who the Sanjay is yet. I just had to hold my screen because glare. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I need to turn textures sound a bit more. Sorry for all the scuff. Um. Anyway, screw it. We're just gonna turn everything to medium. Let's see if that works. How about now? Okay, that looks a little smoother. Okay. How how do how hop how hop fence? Well, Metal Riku, welcome back, and thank you for the raid. So, hello, other person. I have no idea what the controls are to hop this fence. <laughs> oh, hey, I can actually see myself. Look at that. Okay, let's see what the controls are here. It doesn't tell me. Okay. Great. I just had to mess with the graphics settings, so we haven't... Maybe it's saying that she hopped that fence coming this way? Okay. I'm just going to assume that was the case because we can't go back. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's a house. Oh my gosh. How is that thing... How has it not fallen over yet? That's crazy. Oh, and please let me know how the audio is. Um, I tried to get it balanced okay, but I don't know, it seemed really loud. So, I don't know if I made it too quiet in the end or what. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Ah, yes, seven year old urgent mail. Oh. Bunch of newspapers. That is a really cute little stained glass. Do you think it's a finch on there? Like, that is just a very cute little... How is... How is the plant still alive? I'm going to assume it's a fake plant. Otherwise... Magic. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. It's definitely Finch. Okay, cool. No trespassing! But what if I don't read the signs? Will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe okay. she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Ooh, okay, so we could go down or along the road. I think we're going to keep going along the road. It's always easier to go down than... It's, it's usually easier to go down later. No one had driven 
been this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Hmm. So where did that trail go? Oh, it looks like down there. This looks like a really nice area to hike in. Dear. Hello. Hello, you beautiful buck. Okay, bye. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I feel like this is the kind of game where I kind of wish I had an eye tracker. Is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Because everybody else is dead! If only dear let you observe the adorableness. I know. Well, where I live, there are just a ton of deer, so it's not exactly uncommon for me to stare at them. Oh, hello. Are all those... Yeah, those are the mi the posters of her little brother. Or, no, not her little brother. Her, her older brother, who was the middle child. Milton, the one who disappeared. And then she was just talking about Lewis, her eldest brother's um, funeral. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. So Riku, since you were, since you raided in, oh. the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Since you raided in, that means you were streaming, right? What were you streaming before? Mmm, plastic lawn chairs. Gotta love them. I had one of these break under me at, at one point. It was unpleasant. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. But what if, what if it wasn't a joke? What if the guy really did die? It looks like a water slide? I can't tell if they started at the tail or started at the mouth. Ruchillion DDO. The update for a bunch of new stuff recently. Ooh. My brother's really into now, Dungeons and Dragons, I but... I knew exactly those words were. I was afraid of the house. Um, my brother is really into Dungeons and Dragons and for quite a while he played DDO. I tried it for a bit as well but I just didn't really get into it. Could be fun to go back and try it again though. I keep trying to find good multiplayer games just to play with two of my friends. We always have girls' night on Sunday. Although this last Sunday I, I was... I might unlock the front door. It didn't. Tragic. Mail slot? Oh, wait, no. Flip it up. Looking in, I felt like the house <gasps> itself had been waiting for me. Look at all those books! Look at all those books! You've been looking around to get some of your chat into it so you can swap around party members. Because you're solo right now. Ha. Ah. Well, maybe if I get back into the game eventually I'll hit you up. But I can't guarantee that, unfortunately. Wind chime! I like wind chimes. We just have one very similar to this as well. And then my little sister tossed up on the roof because she hated them and it deteriorated. <laughs> she actually kind of tossed up into the gutter. Hello, pet door. Oh, Probably car? The doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Let's 
got a crown! I'm sorry, the, che the textures are not great. Feel free to if you want, you're always up to play games with peeps and collab. Okay. I've never I've never done collab yet. Hey, we do this! <laughs> we have a little tennis ball in the garage. And basically you just hang it and then when the tennis ball touches the windshield, like, you know you know it's time to stop. Jeez, how many similarities am I gonna find in my own house here? Like planting s or potting soil. Just, I mean, it's a pretty standard garage. Got a nice chest freezer there. Good stuff. I always figured people do that for a better grip on the light cord. Oh, oh, for the ball. Yeah, no. No, it's for parking. Cute little antenna ball. Kitty pool. This game is going to take me so much longer than you, than a normal person. For the first time in years. <gasps> Mountain. Oh. and Edith. Those are the three siblings. Yeah, head out. Playing dinner with family tonight. The stream goes well. Thank you. Good luck with dinner. I hope it's good. Enjoy. Enjoy family time. Gotta treasure that stuff. Eddie, Eddie and Dawn. This must be the parents. So there's Dawn. You don't see it. It, oh, Eddie's up here. So, probably the grandpa, I'm gonna guess. Looks like they died really close to each other. I wonder if Eddie and Lewis died at the same time, both in 2010. Okay, so... Currently, I'm thinking Eddie. Eddie was grandpa, Dawn was mom, and then the siblings. I wonder what mountain that is. January 2010. Not changed since. So, I guess this game was probably. I felt like I was home. 2017? I think. Oh, there's another finch on a plate. The Northwest Chef? Is that what that says? No. Maybe? I can't tell. Flour, salt, water, yeast. That's probably a bread book. What else? What? Oh my gosh, I would love having so many books just... Okay, maybe not scattered. Okay, there's the Northwest Chef again. Raw Fowl. Witch's Kitchen. The Holiday Feast. A Viking's Belly. Tasting Thailand. The Nordic Cookbook. I think is what that says. Pacific Pantry. Okay, this must be in the Northwest. Which one are you? I can't tell. It looks familiar, though. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Okay. Oh! Okay, Eddie must have been the grandma, not grandpa. Okay, so yeah, Dawn is definitely the mom. There's our protagonist, Edith, in the back. Lewis. But... 
the mill kid, he's not there. In loving memory of Lewis Finch. Let's see, December 27th, 1988 to November 21st, 2000. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Eddie. Okay, but what about Lewis? Because it says beloved brother to Edith. But they don't mention Lewis. That's weird. That's... Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. That was Lewis. That's Lewis's funeral thing. Okay. Okay. Those are cute bulls. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. I mean, I like Chinese. But man, these containers must be nasty. Oh, Washington. Okay. Storcrop Avenue, Orcas Island, Washington. Delivering, serving all of Orca Island. No customers too far. White Rooster. That looks like a wine bottle. I wonder if the mom had a drinking problem, or if it was just for cooking. Lots of dishes just kind of scattered. Broken shelf. Uh, let's go left. Are these more cookbooks? From cove to stove. Yeah, I think they're mostly just the same books. I'm not seeing anything new, really. Okay, well, there's a space needle. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to blame the textures. And I'm assuming that's the father maybe the table was still a wreck from the night we left it was like a bomb had gone off killing everyone but sparing the furniture that's quite a way to put that oh even blood oh no no it's just the wine looking like blood that's fun Just a lot of different boxes, plates. Why? That look, kind of looks like a baby fork. Maybe it's a regular fork. Was this when Edith was still very young? It must have been. It wouldn't make sense otherwise, because the grandma's over there, she has chopsticks. The mom is on the right, she's got a wine glass. Is that the garage again? Yeah. Ah, too bad these things are so pixelated. Maybe one day I can upgrade my computer. Get like a really nice graphics card. Oh man, that'd be nice. My current one's uh a few years old. And it wasn't exactly top of the line back then. It says market, but I can't read the rest. Pub? Maybe just public market? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Yes, this is a really big house. Even ah, the fireplace I... had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. Sank? 
Like the foundation sink? <laughs> oh, that was fun. The lettering just got sucked up into the chimney. That fireplace looks weird. And ah, yes. Saw blade paintings. Classic. Classic Northwest decoration right there. Oh, hey, that one's kind of HD. I wonder if that's the grandma. Edie. Ooh, comfy chair. I'm assuming the grandma knitted. Oh, yep, yep, another, another classic centerpiece. A nice log table, nice slab table, I should say. Not a log. With a nice modern TV. Okay, that must be the old house then. I don't know why I didn't notice it. Yeah, they they are rich. Look at that. Like, got a horse-drawn carriage and everything. Damn. Damn. What's that say? Don Finch for the living room. So it says the mom died in 2016. And if this is 2017... Okay. What is that? Little, little bird nest sort of thing? It's kind of cute. More little birds. An alarm clock. It's kind of weird. Weird spot for it. Oh, hello, bugs. I wonder who collected these. Those are very pretty. The butterflies, anyway. The beetle, too. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll find the key later. It says... Barbara? Great-Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. So, Great Grandpa Sven was. I don't. Oh, here he is. So, Barbara must have been his daughter. This is Great Grandpa Sven, though, but. Doesn't seem that she's directly related to him or like not descended from him anyway oh this one says Barbara Finch as well ooh look at that beauty I feel like I should recognize it. Um, from Animal Crossing, if nothing else. <laughs> That's actually how I got a lot of my bug and fish knowledge. They're surprisingly accurate in that game. Anything about these? Ooh, the coast! Any really interesting spots? Oh, there's a lighthouse in the back. Nothing I recognize, though. Good old kayaking. Ah, uh, yeah, the finch on the front door again. It has 
has a mountain in the background. I wonder if that's the same one. Oh, hello. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll get... I'm sure we'll get a lot more information on what actually happened there. Alright, an elevator for grandma. Let's head on up. Does she have anything to say about it? No. What? After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Wait. What? What? <laughs> peepholes into the bedrooms? That's... Okay. Okay, here's Barbara. Oh my gosh, it even like has foam seal and crap. What the heck? My friend Bigfoot! <laughs> It's even the stupid, like... Oh my gosh, you see that stupid Sasquatch everywhere. It's like, oh, you're in the Pacific Northwest, it's time for Sasquatch, guys! It's everywhere. It's just, it's absolutely everywhere in Oregon and Washington. Like, you can't escape it. You can't. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Oh. Uh, okay, so she was... I guess she was an actress? Or is she the director? I can't... I can't read it. I can't tell. I feel like she's probably, she was probably an actress. That is a lot of wine. Orange tabby. Angelotti Vineyards, Pinot Noir. Edie's okay. father Odin built the original house. Barbara, Hollywood star. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. So she's got the Sasquatch movie reels. <laughs> I'm sorry, when I'm playing a game, I can't ever not think about the meta implications how how do i hello oh okay just back and part of me wonders if the reason that they did the peoples like this see how it's just a flat image it's definitely not like a 3d it's just to make it so they didn't have to do quite so much <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it was already a very ambitious game, and it is filled with a lot of detail already. Oh, was that her mom painting it? Um, Dawn? Was that Dawn painting it when... when she was pregnant? Probably with Lewis. So, 1944 to 1960. Well, okay, no. So, 
So that must have been before Dawn was born then. So Barbara was born in 19... No, died in 1960. She wasn't very old. Only 16. Jeez. I'm trying to see who would make sense to be painting that door. Can't tell. It was probably Barbara's mom, whoever she was. Which... Was probably Calvin then? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Okay. Well, we can't unplug that. More bugs. It's cool how all the doors are painted. Sven and Edie. Was it Edie who painted the door then? The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Okay. That must have been it. Lots of paintings in there. Mm. You know, the price is surprisingly undusty for being undisturbed for so long and oh my gosh. Those are just so cute. Those hats are absolutely adorable. And more bugs. I wonder if Finn was the bug collector. Sven Hofstede Finch, 1915-1964. And Edie, born two years later than him, and died in 2010. The weird. Hmm. Infinite Jest, a dreamer's tools. The Aleph! Oh no, run! It's an Aleph, guys. It might, it might be here to kill us and we don't have any EGO to protect ourselves. 100 Years of Solitude, the Big Book of Homeschooling, Jabberwocky, and I have... Oh, the Homeschooling Book of Answers. Labyrinths in awe. Pastoralia? No, that doesn't make sense. Pastorally? Hmm, so all the kids were homeschooled then, huh? Calvin and Sam. Same as all the way up here. So, same as like the great great grandfather then. Is that it? My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Jeez. That's the way she put that. Seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. And just the way it's separated too with the rope. Like, oh yeah, just don't don't touch it. Just don't touch it. Jeez. 
Looks like he died really young, too. Yeah, he's only 11. Gregory, 1976 to 1977. One year. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Oh, it's Mount Rainier. National Park. Okay, that makes sense. I don't think I've actually been there yet. Maybe I have. Oh, shaggy carpet in a bathroom. Why would anybody do that? Also, that is a lot of pills. That is a lot of pills. I would not be surprised if somebody overdosed in there. I'm trying to make out what the what the black strains are where I'm kind of covering it. Sorry, I just realized that. Um, one second, I'm gonna move chat for this game as well. I still have it set up for LobCorp. I might make myself a little, little smaller too. Boop. Okay. And chat, 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 chats. Where is chats? That uh, is not what I meant to do. I moved something. I don't know what it was. Okay, here we go. Chats. Bottom left. Bottom left. Hopefully it won't be in the way. Okay. Yay! Okay. Yeah, that chimney is so weird. It's a little ocean front. Oh? What's that out there? Kind of looks like a shipwreck. Alright, so we went through those. Was this Edith? Was this our room? Let's do that one last. That's a cool picture. More bugs. The Library of Babel. The Book of Wonder. I can't read that other white book. Time and the Gods, The Curse of the White Woman, Swan's Way? Am I misreading that? I think I'm misreading that. Infinite Chest again, but red this time. I thought it was blue. Oh yeah, there's another Infinite Chest. The King in Yellow. Pastoral or Pastoralia? Gravity's Rainbow. Molly. Oh, that's really cute. That's adorable. Okay. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Just very, very pink and cute. Oh my gosh, is that a shark on the left? On the bookshelf, right above chat. Oh, that is so, that's adorable. I love that. Oh, more, more skulls too. Orcas, something, calves? can't read that banner. I 
Is that a hamster cage? Hmm. All right. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. There's almost nothing in here. There's nothing to seal. Interesting carpet. I like the painting in this one a lot. If I had the skill, I would love to do something like this. And also just... That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I love that. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Ooh. Oh. Oh, now lift. It was time okay. To find out what my mom had been afraid of. Here we go. From the Bunny? paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Mm, I doubt this is where Milton escaped from or to. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Wait, is she... Is she reading her diary? Reading what? Oh, says Milton. Okay. Is that just, like, a finch with a cat face? But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh, are we actually able to go into like each I of the no rooms? Idea where all this was gonna lead. Orca's Island Caps. Okay, we are. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. That shark looked a lot bigger. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Well, that's because that actually was a painting. Well, I mean, not to her, but... They didn't even clean out the last little turds. Jeez. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. That is cute. Also a little weird. That plastic pumpkin's pretty cute. I like the shark. I like the shark a lot. Can I can I just take him home? Bed bug, nine lives, call of the wild. Looks like all just very animal themed. Mountain. No. Something of the deep. Monsters of the deep? Jungle book. On memory. The magic mountain. It's hard to read those. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that jellyfish. Look at that jellyfish plushie. That is so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Mm. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. 
It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh, I'm the little girl now. I'm wearing her nightgown. Dribble food. No, don't eat the gerbil food. Here we go. My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, what happened to the plant here? Dissecting a starfish? Here's that red light again. I wonder if that's a boat? Hmm. If it's a coat, I have no idea what it is. Instead of eating the... Are we going to eat the gerbil food? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Yummy. Let's go to the restroom first and then sneak out. Fish! Don't. You did not. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Who would eat their- no, that child, no. That is so messed up. You do not eat your pet goldfish. You do not eat your pets in general. Outside my window. I will I will go to you, bird, but I ate a lot of things that night. Oh jeez. No wonder she died. Ten ten years old. Have real food and throw up all the crab she ate, please. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Don't don't eat the bird. I reached out for her. Oh no. And suddenly I was a cat. Um what? Oh, kid. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Hi! Okay, I can charge up a jump. I don't know if I can fall off or not. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Oh, that went further than I expected. Okay. Oh. Tiny 
branch? I don't know where to go now. I guess the gutter. I guess the gutter. Okay. Oh gosh. This, this entire thing just feels like a bad idea. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Are they just in bed? With their daughter about to die? Bird. Wow. Okay, pretty sure I just can't fall off. Come here, bird. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Oh, look at your little piggies. You know, bird, you could just fly away properly. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Not even just just regular bird, but a mama bird. She just wanted to eat it. What the heck? We can just go up, I guess. <laughs> I gobbled her up. And suddenly, Info. I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. The girl is dreaming, right? Oh, I missed. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, that rabbit kind of kind of freaked out. Okay, we got one. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Um, I think this kid has issues. A mama rabbit. I think she's a little mad at her mom. I don't know. Good that she keeps eating mommies. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Whee! I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Okay. Okay, up takes us up. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Bum, 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 bum. Um. And it tasted really good. Trail of blood. Grabbed on tight. But I was 
was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Um... What? What are we now? Are we an octopus? Kraken thing? Box from Seattle. Now I was a monster and I smelled people like Okay, this is... Oh my gosh. We're going under the cars. Can't really look up. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Nom 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 nom. Okay, no, that's not the door. I thought maybe. Oh. Um. Something over here? No, not really. Mmm, tasty, tasty people. You know, I did kind of forget to check if there's any copyright music in this game. Oh well. You with a drunken sailor, what do we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Rusty razor early in the morning. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Read the lyrics. What do I do with a drunken sailor? What do I do with a drunken sailor? Hmm. <laughs> Are we buzzed now? I'm sure he had a nice high alcohol content level, right? I don't think we're going to be able to catch a bird. Oh. Oh. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I done goofed. Okay. 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 We can... We can make it. This child is terrifying. <laughs> Alright, we are... I just want to see what was behind us. Just ocean. Okay. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. We go up. Oh no, she gonna eat herself. <laughs> and then she ate herself. And, and 
and she was back in her own room. What's that? Hunter blooms. Cute. Can we get up to the fish? All her stomachs. All my stomachs started growling. How many stomachs do you got? And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. What the fuck is going on? Okay. So she's the one who really li Cat! So she's the one who really liked the bugs and everything. An owl whistle. That's a really pretty owl whistle. I bet my owl would really like that. Hmm. That's a present idea. So, Owl's birthday is coming up, and he mentioned pretty, pretty late on Sunday. Unfortunately, I didn't see it until after I got done streaming that night. But he mentioned, oh, hey, you know, I would really like, like a nice, nice Owl plushie, because he's just adorable like that. And so I did some, um, late night shopping. And Owl, if you are listening right now, you are not allowed to anymore, okay? I know you're at work, so you shouldn't be listening. But still, okay, yeah, we are not going to the tree. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I see. Anyway, I did some very late night impulse shopping and I found this really, really super cute snow owl plushie. And I also found a Celeste from Animal Crossing plushie that looks really nice. I probably spent a little bit more than I should have, but. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of bird cages. This is a weird family. I mean, we already knew that, but... Oh, these are pictures of all the different birds she had. Lurpy, Purply, Rob, Burpy, Bob. I don't see a name tag on that one. The dreams in the witch house. The finchers. A falling flock. In water. In water black. Fury. Invisible cities. Star Starship Gemini. Lift off. Macbeth? 
call the wild again. Shrine? What? Shrine sketches? We got along and it was a good place to hide my mom. Dragon kills Finch. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. I mean, she wasn't lying. Mole man beneath Edie the Finch gave house. Interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. <laughs> you go, Edie. When a family day at a druid world. The Pacific Probe. Edith. Edith Lake trip. Sam photo award. Conspiracy now. Sam Metal Creamery? No. Sam Metal Ceremony. Home movies. Uh, something... Something America. I'm gonna read as the furries. Headcanon that says the furries. My friend Bigfoot. Something Edith interview. And random junk. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Oh, Edith Jr. Built 1973, Sven Finch. Molly Concepts. Mural Sketches. Barbara Concepts. Edie won't go. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. Nice hats. More hat boxes. Probably four said hats. Or maybe more bo or more hats. Lots of tools. House blueprints. Dragon kills Finch. I mean, that dragon slide would have been really cool if it worked. Got an oxygen tank. It's a hospital bed. So that they can elevate and whatnot. Perfumes. A lot of pills. Confederate flag. Is that what that is? My, I'm getting a complete brain fart on that right now. Even Happy ninetieth. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna start the next part or not. Oh, it's the little shark. Oh, that's so cute. Norwegian folk tales. Oh, okay. That's probably Norway's flag then. Okay. Who? Lewis? It's probably Lewis, right? Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Definitely a lot of paint stuff. Don, Gus, Gregory, Lewis, Milton, Edith. Her room was like a museum. Okay, so that has the little book thing, so I'm assuming that means it continues on. So... If they all, if they all left at the same time, why was this room 
sealed as well. Oh my gosh, the pink bathroom of The only terror. trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah, it's a pretty big trace. Like, why? Who in their right mind would want carpet in a bathroom? Like, that's gotta be just the nastiest shit. Ugh. Is that... You know, it's definitely a bottle of cleaner of some sort. Bubble bath! Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Rubber duckies. Or pills. Well, we saw the pills. The peephole. Oh, reflections. That's a nice touch. Okay. Ooh, that is a vintage sewing machine. You know, they actually make, like, modern, but kind of replicas in this style. Um, it's an old singer, is what I'm pretty sure that is. Like, that is a, that's a fancy boy right there. It's even a treadle. Wow. Oh, a photograph of her painting. That's a cool sword. Joining the Great Majority by Odin Finch. Oh, he wrote a bunch, huh? Mysteries of Death and Thereafter. Okay. Lots of candles, too. Alright, moving on. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Hmm. Oh. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. I see. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Mad Lad just took the entire house with him. You know, sometimes you see houses going down the road, but just imagine seeing a house on a boat. That's incredible. <laughs> That's just great. Oh my gosh. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. He makes it all the way across. All the way from Norway. And then... Right... Right on the coast. And they get to the coast. That's when the house dies. And... And they got a heckin' picture of it. They got a picture of it. I mean, it's probably like a recreation, but they're making it look like a photo. And the dude... He's on the roof. He's up on the roof there. <laughs> mad lad. Absolute mad lad. Come on. Come on. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Jeez. 
Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Just even having a family cemetery... <laughs> That's tragic. And the way she put it as the first to be buried. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oh, and there's the fireplace. Jeez. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Okay. Uh. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. We still don't know exactly why they left the way they did. Deepest sympathy. Oh, hey, she has like a little um, bird feather necklace. It's cool. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that it was painted on. But she just. She painted a picture of the house with the frame and the birds just flying up it. That is really cool. That's cool. This woman had style. Oh, another saw blade. But this one's unpainted. What the heck? Oh, missed something. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. <laughs> That's great. There's a secret in this bathroom. What's oh, a pop-up book? How cute. In the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh, she didn't even close the pop-ups properly. Is this a dark room? Sven gave yeah. Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Hello. Lewin? Lewin? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Anyway, welcome, welcome. We're... We're just looking strong sculpts. Useful. Easy. Fast, full, is that what that says? Mmm, hair sprite. Kids safe! Owen with an L. Okay, Lowen. Welcome, welcome. Oh, down we go. And... I'm assuming that's... Is that a crushed beer can? I think so. Oh yeah, quite a few of those, huh? And wine bottles. You know, I'm starting to think this family had a drinking problem. More pictures. And now we're in the rope room. Hunting pictures, trophies. A football trophy? That is a football trophy. Ah, uh, more of the darkroom stuff. Cigarettes. Jeez. Just being a grown man, as, you know, obviously evidenced by the cigarettes and alcohol and everything. Just another problem to add to the list, indeed. 
Indeed. Just being a grown man sharing this. It's from a like a museum. Okay, I will, but I want to look more at this stuff first. Like, that's a really cool little fort thing, though. If I was a kid, I'd love having that. Okay. And that he never talked about him. <laughs> is that a it's the same kind of can that was back there is that really just a beer can okay it looks like this is the way to the next area so we are not gonna hit that yet September 1961 Okay, Sam, and she what was the name of his brother? Must have been... Ah, uh, probably Calvin here. Yeah, 1961, that was when he died. Explore the universe. To command center. Let's see, what are these ones? So we've got Liftoff, Mr. Martian, The Little Prince, Starship. I have no idea. Fury again. The camera. A negative. The old breed of oh, the old breed. I read the old bread first. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Do 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 do. You know, I wonder if the grandpa's the one who taught the mom how to not like history. Hmm. Is the Uranus in Pluto maybe? Could be Neptune, though. I don't know. I don't know my plans as well as I should. The Hardy Boys. I recognize that name. Another picture of Calvin. <laughs> you know them. <laughs> I know them better than you do. Well... I feel like I should know him better, though. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, the swing! This was in the trailer. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. <laughs> At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Hmm. Stop! Calvin! Get on, Sadie! No, we're going flying, Mom. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. I mean, Maybe it technically I is. picked up and maybe he'd still be here but I doubt it Whoop. kid trying I think he'd already made up his mind Whee! that's what I want to remember about my brother oh, 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 oh. he made it 
story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Okay. But it is actually physically impossible to do a loop without external After forces. Trial, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. I see. I didn't notice the height chart before. Jeez. Jeez, this game's just trying to make me cry. Oh, what the heck does that say? I can't read it. All I can see is Samuel Finch. Uh, okay, probably Orca Island. Or regional... I know it's not what it says, but there are two words. <clears throat> let's let's go with a rich school. It's there's it looks like a B though. Yes, yes, a regional rich school. <laughs> Class Oh gosh, I have no idea. Something company. Certificate of Achievement awarded to Samuel Finch for starting a 120% something grade in the third quarter of the 1967-1968 school year. That That is hard to read. Okay. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. I believe it. And now for the hungry, hungry caterpillar. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, butterfly. Am I, am I going up again? I'm going up again. Okay. Up. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, kitty cats. Okay, kitty cat, I kinda need you not in the way of screen, but you can happily sit in my lap. Okay. Yes. Oh, into the what? I feel like having the... Cat do a cat once, exactly. Okay, I feel like having the little boy's room connected to the wine cabinet is kind of a terrible idea, and that very much explains how he got the wine in his room. That is like just trying to train your kid to become an alcoholic. Barbara Finch, child stars! What have they been doing? Where are they now? She's dead. like all the rest. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Another hat box? My friend Bigfoot. My friend Bigfoot. She even got her own doll. That is... I wonder if those are even opened. Just a lot of fan mail. Although you probably don't actually want to have a kid opening fan mail, like without the parents like supervising it first, because that just sounds dangerous. Seattle Ballet Company presents Swan Lake Belltown Theater. Okay, can you just sit down? Can you sit down, Kit Kat? Good girl. 
Let's get your tail under the arm. Okay. Barbara, 1944 to 1960. Well, she lived young. She lived longer than some of the others. For what's worth. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Is that another beer can? Who the heck drew all these beer canes everywhere? Popcorn too. Happy birthday, Barb. You. You is kind of the only thing I can say to that one. Oh, you can't even see the mold and. And another ashtray. At best, she was 16 when she died. <sighs> There's no way it lasts that long. Yeah. Best case scenario, it dried out and just became heart attack. Nasty, nasty heart attack. But, I mean, I say heart attack, but like the driest freaking thing. Oh, man. A strange Labyrinth, a film by Lady Gregory. Pink Clouds. The end. The musical. Coral at the world. I'm missing a lot of words on here. Okay, corals of the world. More bird! Bird. I know, I know Kit Kat. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh, claws. Ow. Okay. Here. I bring you your chair. Alright, what books does she have? The Poetics. Walden. Greek Tale. Alice in Wonderland. I have no idea what one of those is. Okay. Moving on. Oliver Twist. You're a star. I apologize if you're trying to look at the same ones as me because I'm just jumping all over the place. Something from school? Masters of Cinema. Definitely a lot more like story books. Fish power! That's a cute hat. Guide on Hi-Fi. Some in interesting, like, postcards and stuff. It definitely does feel like a teenager's room. I just hope those cigarettes weren't hers. Oh, was she working at Penelope's? Seattle Satellite. Barb Street. Okay. Uh oh, where'd the book go? I saw it and I lost it. Here we are. At the shrine. <laughs> Dreadful stories. Guest starring Barbara stories, Finch. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, that's the Finch front door. And that's also her work uniform. Featuring Old Jack. Terror. Okay. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale. Inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. 
has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when. <laughs> yeah, like that. that. Perfect. Was a great scream. <laughs> It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Yeah, yeah, slip into the table okay, saw is just... Uh... But I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret <laughs> is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. How did the comic book maker know that? Five minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. So I'm kind of assuming that we use this later. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. But the house was silent. And also, if the key was still there, that means he didn't use it. Oh, okay. We're in control again. Oh no! It's that music! She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Yes! <laughs> Smack it. More beer cans. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad weapon. Also, you could do a lot worse. <laughs> can I can I get the eight ball in? Oh, <laughs> never mind. It hits it way too far. No more beer cans, indeed. Beer cans are not allowed. It's nasty stuff anyway. I mean, I personally don't like beer. I know a lot of other people do, but... The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, there's the table saw. the crotch door. Oh, he does say maze. And indeed, it looks like a maze was built. <laughs> oh no, he was fringed! trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, it I'm failed. I'm not scared, Rick. <laughs> I'm furious. Then act furious. If all I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! 
Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Yes, ha ha ha. Okay. I can't break the table. It's a different table than it's in the living room now. <laughs> I can't break the TV. <laughs> you know, these chairs do look comfortable. Like, kind of comfortable to sit in, but also, like, kind of uncomfortable. I want to try one sometime. Now, swinging hammock chairs, those are really nice. Here, let's take the key out of the basement. We we don't need that in there. Boots. Skippy boy. Anybody outside? Well, they can see in the window. Roller skate. Walter, are you there? Okay, I can't move the camera anymore, so. Orca's Island Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Uh -oh. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. I keep losing track of where I'm actually in control or not. So it's the window. Or was it the closet? Oh, duh, right here. That night, she played her part beautifully. Okay, Molly's hidden passageway was. There's another one. Where was it? She thought about it in the water, but just couldn't do it. Is that just her boyfriend again? into Molly's room. Down? Okay, yeah, they don't really want us going through here. And remember, this is the end of her. Not... Not the end of Walter. <gasps> He's gone! Can we look at the window? Don't see anything out there, at least. Some door was dying to speak to young Barbara. Can we can we take the key out of the garage, at least? Can 
Let me at least see who it is. No, I don't want to open the door. From inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise! Bravo, you are wonderful. Bravo. The monsters have come to surprise us. <laughs> She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. <laughs> I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. Magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what that's... I call a real eerie tale. wanted was to be remembered as absurd as that comic was maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending jeez just jeez The freaking ear thing. Okay, so we could go back through... Through there. I just noticed that girl left her bra. Oh my gosh, it's even like one of those cone bras. Sign of the times, indeed. Okay, I don't see another way out of this room. So here we go. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Oh. And we can get out through here. Cool. How in the world did the author get so much information about it, though? It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Also, which room was... which room was hers? Because we were looking around earlier and just... couldn't find it. Because that's Finn and Eddie's. This was the bathroom and it's labeled as Gregory. Than Calvin and Sam's. But we haven't found Edith's yet. Or her mom's. So maybe they're upstairs? But seriously, who is the author there? Because that author knew way too much about the layout of the house. In the music box. Okay. Music box. Okay. 
We just keep going. And there's the key. Adhesive strips. Paint. What else do we have down here? Ketchup! Big bottle of ketchup! <laughs> I'm kidding. I have no idea what that is. Probably just some other cleaner. I want to smack them around. Why else would they be here, right? I'm just grab a pool stick and... I really hope they don't store ketchup with the laundry detergents. <laughs> Mom's well. was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Hmm. Just got a bunch of wood scraps. Ooh, Dragon Slate prototype. Another flag. Ah, more of the slab she was painting. Okay. The lacquer to finish them. A lot of people like using these kind of slabs as cake stands. Or cake boards. It's kind of funny. Especially for those rustic weddings that are very popular. Once, carrying packages. Packages, eh? What kind of packages? Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Was there no light switch? I don't see a light switch. Okay. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. And that is possible. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Hmm. Is this a fallout shelter? Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. It's so dark. Oh. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. All in those. Extra crispy. Oh, Alvin. Alvin. Alvin, I was, I was reading it like... All in... My brain made the association between Alvin and aluminum. I was like, mmm, aluminum O cereal. Mmm, mmm, tasty. Can't even see, can't even say you're getting your iron pea soup. I made carrot soup last night, which was really good. If there's a pattern in all but the stories. Pea barn jelly, more pea soup, propane. Yeah, I gotta get those nutrients from somewhere. Well, this was during the height of, like, the Cold War, right? Honestly, it kind of makes sense that an ultra-rich family would have a bunker. Tomato ketchup. Hey, there's the ketchup! Hey, Lowen, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Mmm, tasty beans. Good old water jugs. That's probably like rice, if I had to guess. I can't tell though. <gasps> You're number 50? Yay! I think I need one more and. and then just a little bit more and. I think it's that none of us has ah. gotten very far. You're number 50! We hit 50! Woo! All right, now I just need an average of three viewers during streams, and I hit affiliate. Yay! <laughs> oh, 
Although I think technically I actually have to have one more follower because for whatever reason the first one didn't count. I don't know why. But anyway, woo! Spain. Yeah, it's weird like that sometimes. I'm not surprised. China. France. India. Thailand. Russia. Brazil. Can't peaches! Hmm. All right, there's Walters. First aid kit. A little sink. Shave cream. And a razor. So this one was actually used. Microwave. I wonder how old that microwave is. Because microwaves are kind of a relatively new invention. Oh, that's the bathroom. It's so hard for me to see right now. More pea soup. Oh my gosh. How much pea soup did they have? Like, would they just be basically eating pea soup? Pork chunks. It's better at least. Sweetie crisps. Just so great. Happy mornings. I also noticed that they made the font for Happy Mornings the same as General Mills. Just an interesting touch there. Snacker Stackers Chocolate Malt Pudding. Six servings. Chow down, eat it up. I love snacks. I think it's the same font as General Mills anyway. I'm sorry, I get I get so invested in just super detailed games like this. Just spices too. Can't read them all. Definitely see pepper. You've watched people play this game so many times, but pointing out things I've never noticed. Oh well, I'm glad. 2005. Did anybody... Was there anybody who died at that point? So this was between Milton's disappearance and Lewis's death. And Edie's death. Because those two happened pretty close to each other. Although Lewis definitely died first, from the sounds of it. Well, I'm glad I'm able to give you a new experience. Oh, is that the same... Is that the same one that was painted in the room? I think it might be. A nice fake painting of outside. Makes it feel like you're not just trapped in a bunker. That's a nice painting. I wonder what lake that is. Because that's probably Mount Rainier since they keep talking about it. Okay, we're not going through the hatch yet. We'll wait on that. I think it's cool how everybody basically has different books in their area. So something survival. Ghost, ghost trapping. All right. Maybe it's spiritual survival then. Homemade weaponry. <laughs> Warding away spirits. Haunted. A guide. Yeah, the book details are pretty crazy. I agree. Barbara Finch, child actor. Okay, I think that was the saddest we've seen. Or child star. Like, geez, just having a book on your own deceased daughter or granddaughter whatever it was the dark the dark defense exorcism warding away spirits cracking the curse echoes from afar Wait, 
the Finch Curse. There's even a book on them. Isolation Syndrome. Hmm. Oh, there's more of the model trains. Along with just model paints. Jeez, this game has so much detail in it, it's crazy. Okay. Two thousand Oh, it does say Goodbye, Walter died in two thousand five. I can't believe I've been down here for thirty years. Thirty years? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. Dude, did you get the entire camp peaches at once? But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Stop. Now we're in March. Oh, I wasn't looking at... I wasn't looking at the peaches, trying to see how many. How is that one marker was, alive? It was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Oh, I didn't even notice that his hands got older. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. Is this the... Okay, we can't. We can't go back through there. Is this the train car just put underground? Or is it just a bunker? Why is... Why? That's odd. Okay. I don't think there's much more to look at here. <laughs> Can I keep a weapon to keep you safe? Yeah, but... Why a crutch? Of all things he could have chosen. Especially with his homemade weaponry books. Like, why choose a crutch? I know it's out there, somewhere. Brown rice! Hey, I was right! <laughs> More peanut butter. Whatever killed Barbara. Wait, is it? Are they saying that it's like that tentacle thing that was in Molly's journal? Molly. And Calvin. Wait, which one was Calvin again? Okay, that was Calvin. Maybe he's just talking more generally about the curse. All right, we got a mall. Maybe this a sledgehammer. Is all a mistake. It's not a mall. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me.
Maybe he keeps it because it's what his sister saved him with. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so that's the hole he just broke. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. <laughs> I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month, or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh! <laughs> I, was about, I was about to make a bad joke about a train. <laughs> I, I didn't expect him to actually die from that. <laughs> mom never told me he was down here. <laughs> I was about to make a new <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. She's just keeping him locked up down there. What? Okay. What was he hearing? Was it just the train going by? Because it was the rattling that... that he was worried about. And it's like the train got delayed for a week and then he broke out and got hit by it. Why didn't he try and go back through the house? I don't know, his story is very strange. March 31st, 2005. And that radio is still on. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Come on. And down we go. Oh no, sorry. It, Maybe yeah, she was not not a mind. That was the radio. Just like now, the lights in here are buzzing. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house. I know there is just some noise from my keyboard and mouse. What else she was hiding. Just because no matter what I've done, I'm trying to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to use the noise suppressions. Oh my gosh! You don't hear it? Cool. <laughs> well, I know sometimes it does. But, you know, if you don't hear it, that's great. <laughs> Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> All right, no trains today, right? Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Um, I think I do have a NVIDIA graphics card. You can hear their NVIDIA bro broadcast program. Oh, really cuts off stuff like that. I'll look into it. Oh, 
we made it real. Okay, we're getting off the tracks. Oh, but the tracks are broken anyway. What the heck? How fast was that train coming? Hey, Looney! Wait. You are a different Looney. Looney Hoshi, hello! The Looney I'm used to has a purple name. <laughs> I don't know if I should even be writing this. Or are you the same Looney and just change your name? Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Or am I just going crazy? I want to see what's out there. Because that red, like... I thought there was another Looney. Looney Lunix? But I thought you should know about your family. Wait, you should know about your family. Is she... is she writing this? Oh, is that way we can see her belly? I thought it was a little bit of a strange choice. Oh, you know them? They told... <laughs> well, I'm glad they're spreading around. Cool. And the history you're a part of. Okay, so I think she's writing this all down for her kid. Because I think our Edith here is pregnant. And honestly, right now, I can't tell if you're joking or serious. I just, I have no idea. swimming platform. Okay, it is just you. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Hi, Looney. Welcome back. <laughs> it was just throwing me. It was throwing me off. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Okay, so the person at the very start of the game, was that Edith? Or was that just somebody reading her journal? Because they also had a bunch of lilies. New color, new name. Okay. Okay. You know, at least you kept one word the same, so I was still able to... Not completely think it was a different person. And you didn't have the first time chatter tag. So, you know, that was another hint. Because OBS tattles on you guys. It tells me when you're new. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. Yes, blame Mobius. Ha ha ha. Let's see if we turn sideways. Maybe. No, I don't think it'll let us look at the belly bump. Or baby bump. Only it's even the right <laughs> it's even the correct symbol. <laughs> Just 
The, the little guy. It's the little guy. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. That's... that's not something you should get used to. Or it's not something you should have to get used to. What kind I of think family that... finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Uh, someone who... a family who has somebody die on the trip? I mean... Can we walk off? Maybe. I don't think I should. Also, apparently there are a bunch of achievements. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... But I haven't gotten a single one. It's kind of funny. The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. I Three understand. Three were mine, and two had been my fault. <sighs> That's painful. We got Christopher, Bob, Shadow, Oliver, Oliver, and Shatsy. Then we have Derpy, Derpy Jr., Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Burpy, Chirpy, Furpy, Lurpy, and Zerpy. We saw most of those cages earlier. Got Turkey or er, Tucker, Coco, Zoe, Bailey. Or oh, frog! And a signpost we can't read. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. That makes sense, since Edie was the artist. Oh. That right there is quite pretty. I like the way the moose just framed right in there. Molly Finch. Calvin, Sven, and Edie. Was... was Edie a writer as well? Oh, yes, puppy dog. I know. Walter. Why is Walter's... Oh, it has a little dude. Oh, for him standing at the entrance of the cave. Jeez. That one feels kind of more tragic than all the rest. <gasps> Barbara. A star. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Oh, there's more. Okay, we'll we'll be going down that way later, so. <laughs> on top of the sinking house. Oh yeah, because I guess they did talk about the house that sunk. Out of the water at low tide. So that's the house, huh? Incredible. When they first talked about the house sinking, I thought it was like, oh, the foundation sunk or something. I don't know why it took me until now to realize that the sinking was when it actually sunk. Gosh, that's incredible, though. <laughs> like, that is just such... Such a great posture. Okay, since I think it wants us to go down there, we're instead going to turn around. Always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory, Sam, and Gus.
She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Jeez. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Let's see, which key did she give us to start it off again? But looking back on it now... Oh, it was the key to the books, right? If she told me there was going to be so much climbing... <laughs> well, too I'd late to go back. I come when I was 22 <laughs> weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I do feel like that part was a little bit of a mistake. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, there's a ladder on that side. Okay. bird feeders or bird houses actually cute I never met grandpa Sam but I think he and my mom had a lot in common another ashtray and a tiny fire pit on a wooden deck that's a terrible idea guys that is why would you put it up there Why? That's just a fire hazard. I mean, same with having the grill up here, but jeez. They were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. I understand. I like taking pictures, but I don't like pictures being taken of me. So this one's Sam's, huh? Oh, even with the little astronaut. Wood putty. Uh, uh, camera film. I don't know what that is back there. Probably just more cleaning stuff. <laughs> what a selfie. <laughs> Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Hmm? It's a hunting trip on. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Is, is the same pudding that was in the bunker? Oh gosh, it's so hard to focus this camera. I'm assuming those are ammo, because there's the rifle. Binoculars. What? Click! Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Do a mish trail. Has the ten trail. Hmm. Hunting season. Please 
just take the damn picture? I am hey, taking a picture. Language. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Odin Finch Odin Finch National Park. National Park Service. Okay, mm. got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Bird. 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 Aww. Okay, bye, bird. Oh, bunch of bird. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Oh, gosh. I can't see anything like that. I don't know what it wants me to be taking a picture of right now. Maybe the kayak? No? Mm. These nature pictures are making me want to go on a hike. I don't think I can do that this weekend, though. I really have no idea what it wants me to take a picture of. Also, sorry for all the flashbangs. I honestly have no idea what it wants. Oh, hello. Stuff. Take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Does it sound like I'm done? Uh, nothing quite like being outside. Oop, a little more gas. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Hmm. Well. Last time I was with my oh. brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. Just talking. He keeps talking. We found an old logging tree. Don, don't you think you could find oh. something more interesting to photograph? No. More hunting season. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Sounds like she doesn't really want to do the hunting part of hunting. I mean, I don't really blame her. I'd enjoy the camping part, but not the actual shooting. Fish! Let's see. Can I get to focus? Uh, not meaningfully. Maybe. I wonder if there's a deer in the woods. I really have no idea what the game is expecting me to photograph right now. And yeah, the dad drank a lot. I know some people don't mind it, but... And he was like, oh yeah, being in the woods is the best. At least for me, it's just... Unpleasant. Any more film on me, kiddo. Are you sure? Because I don't know what else to photograph. Because... Oh, bird! Dad. Oh, nice, dear. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Wait, where? Dad, I... Just breathe. 
Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Jeez. Great shot, Don! Proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh. I'm proud of you, sweetie. I made you cry over killing a deer. Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Oh, jeez. <sighs> yeah, congrats, kid. You took a life today. Wait, how how do we get up here? Hang on, kiddo. Just trying to get a shot of the two of us together. Wait, but I, but I did. I got up there. Happy Father 101. Yeah, like if your Dad, kid doesn't want to go hunting. I think That's it's totally so normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh! Incredible. Incredible. Didn't even make sure the animal was actually dead before trying to take a picture. Of all these stories, <laughs> that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Jeez. Yeah, goodbye, Grandpa Sam. Wow, we still have quite a few to go, huh? At first I was intending to make this a a single stream one. I'm still gonna see if we can get through it, but I just know I'm kinda taking a bit. Instead longer. of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Indeed. Footprints. Wait, did we look through that one? I don't know if we actually looked through. Um, if you have about a time approximation, that works. Like in hours. I mean, I could go pretty long. Like, I fully intended to do so. I mean, I even postponed the stream today. Airline ticket. 2k Finch. Wait, who is K? Okay. Must have been... Okay, so that's Grandma K then, yeah? Another hour, maybe hour and a half? Okay. That is nowhere near as long as I was expecting. I was expecting like another three hours. <laughs> Although I guess we've only been going for two and forty. Probably closer to two and a half. Oh wait. Shoom. Ah, uh, yes. Good ol' insulation. And then the ventilation system. Mmm, MREs. Tasty. I mean, I guess it's better than eating peaches every day. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Still just have a hard time imagining just eating an entire can of peaches. Just well, it's morning time to have my can of peaches. Jeez. 
Jeez. Also, that face is absolutely terrifying. Okay, we're going to look around and then read that. This looks much more like a tiny barracks or a locker room than an infant's room. Like with the punching bag and the flag and the intercom. Teamwork, respect, strength. Go army. Values worth having. Gregory. Oh no, there's just something kind of messed up about a locker for a baby. Where was Gregory on here? Right there. Less than a year old. Got it. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... Okay, we will read that one as well. Spiked bracelets? Jeez. 69 to 82. I feel like it might be even harder if you just keep getting the same card. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, the reason I'm laughing is because I have a meme saved on my computer that uses a very, very similar looking burn. <laughs> With the caption, you are a spectacular amount of wrong. I'll have to find and post on the Discord later. <laughs> oh man, okay. Nine twenty-five. Or twenty-seven, my bad. Foolish. House rules. I can't read that. No No something outside. Something something. I can't yeah, no. I can't read those. Throw wave in case of fire. I'm guessing it's just like a can of fire extinguishing liquid, but without the nozzle. Looks like maybe it comes out the bottom. Duties! Alright, one second. I need water. All right, raise flag, 7.30 a.m. Breakfast, 8 a.m. Quiet time, 11 p.m. Duties, dawn, sleep in trash. Gus, mop, mow yard. Greg, be a baby. Routine, jump rope, 100. I mean, 100 jump rope isn't that bad, but... Jumping jacks. 150. 100 push-ups. 100 crunches, rent a mailbox, and back that sounds awful. Mostly because I'm very out of shape, but that sounds awful. Okay. Prone, returning home. The Book of Knots. Proven something? I have no idea. Goblins and ghosts. Role play manual? Goblins and ghosts role play manual. Oh, dandy. Okay. Okay. It's fake dandy. The general's general? The astronauts? The soldiers? A soldier's qualities, I think, is what that is. 
Great American Poetry. The Constitution for Kids. Goblins and Ghosts feels like a very out of place one in here. Beginner's Barracks. Is that what this is? Baby's first barracks. <laughs> you want to be a baby as your chore for the day. I get that. The call of the... I have no idea what that is. The call of the something. Soldier's qualities again. A fortress? Red flag. A red flag warning. What is that again? I know I've heard that term. Oh, and then some older books. Looks like probably encyclopedias and probably a dictionary. Like those very much look like sets. A red flag warning. I know I've heard that phrase before. I don't remember what it means, though. Rock wall. Okay. Alright, let's read these and then continue. Wow, putting the divorce contract on your baby's grave. That you, sure is something. Do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Apparently means warm weather with increased fire danger. Okay. I am frog. Over, Gregory. It's time oh. to Hold on, sweetie. Oh no. I told you I don't want to talk right now. No, we're going to drown a baby. <laughs> what his world was like. Okay. He saw. Yep, okay. Turn on the water. I dare you. Got all the bubble baths. I worried about a baby. I can feel him slipping away. How do you feel a baby slipping away? I know you did everything you could. No, we don't get. Now we drown a baby. Be 
because the water got turned off. So much fun, guys! There's so much I don't understand. About Gregory. About everything. Oh, jeez. We are slime baby. I know it's frog, but we are slime baby. I wonder if the kid has schizophrenia or something. Just a very active imagination. I'm sure he's happy. Oh, okay. I want you to be happy too. All right, instead of swimming up, we just swim down. Love, Sam. All right. Okay. He even has this little froggy and all the other bath toys that were there for his demise. I mean, uh, playtime. Yay! Jeez. Like, out of all of them, this one is by for the one that feels the worst because it's like this was just a kid it was literally just a baby who was just playing in the bath and because his mom wasn't watching him jeez a poem for Gus who always said the wedding was a bad idea our father never hit us kids at least not very hard before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. <laughs> dive bomb! Dive bomb the crowd! <laughs> it doesn't let me dive bomb the crowd. <laughs> this cat has very interesting physics. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Why wouldn't you introduce the stepmom or the future wife? Well, future stepmom to the kids? Like, that is... I'm trying to attack you guys with the kite. Did he... I'm just trying to think of how this is going to go wrong, and right now I'm thinking strangulation! Yeah! Okay, why are the words not going away this time? Well, hello, statue. Um... When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come I'm here! But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> Brave kid. Like, I get he was mad. Panic geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Lightning. Okay, kid gets kid gets very well acquainted with um rain came down 
from the upset that no one is going to be that made by Stuart the Dignitary bad death crudely made. So, fun thing about lightning is actually not the lightning from the sky that kills you. It's the charge going up back to the sky from the ground the that kills you. And full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Whee! Because basically what the lightning does is that it makes a charged path back into the sky. And then... The ground, which has a much stronger charge. Oh. Well, anyway. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. <laughs> Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But that I was didn't. fun. Until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once, if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Hmm. Fun. You know, I really thought he was going to get struck by lightning, not... Uh, tossed into the sea. And they even kept seashells. And wind. A little wind thing. Jeez. Just the way they memorialize people is pretty gruesome. Now jump rope. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Understandable. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Yeah, you can see teenager stuff here. Although, geez, just looking down at that. I mean, I can't really blame her for wanting to lock this all away when she was forced to look at their memorials every day. Like, just be reminded, like, oh yeah, both of your siblings are dead. One of them died from neglect. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Oh, and a fire pole. Don Finch. Fly to India! Copy passport. Meet with something representative. Something tracking. We're trekking? Ten ways to teach critical thinking. Religion, science, math, and history. And I'm glad that I was able to teach you about lightning. And how it's not the lightning that kills you. <laughs> yeah, just in general, stay away from tall pointy objects and you'll be fine. Just because lightning is much more attracted to those. Another fun fact, did you know that they actually have to sharpen lightning rods in order to keep them super effective? Because the smaller the point, the more likely it is to get hit. Because over time, they kind of dull and get rounded. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, hey, we actually have a name for the dad now. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean go down. Okay. Now we have to climb back up. I thought I was just gonna look at it. Oh yeah, just fun things I learned in physics class. Classes. Electricity is weird. It's just weird stuff. I was technically an engineering student for a while, but... Lewis was born a year later. 
Oh my. A year later. Mm. Mm. I think they were doing more than just building houses. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. Edith, Milton, and Lewis. Mint time, sage, and basil. All very dead, but... I like how Milton just built a castle out of flower pots. That's fun. Ooh, that's a good idea. I like a flower pot that looks like a sand castle. That'd be fun. Actually, let me write that down before I forget. Because that's... That's actually a really fun project idea. Sand... Sandcastle... Shaped planter. Probably be best to have like a red clay. Maybe, maybe just a regular buff. Nah, yeah, yeah, probably just like a regular buff. Um, like a whitish yellow. I do pottery stuff as well, so. I have a small studio in, in the garage. Wow, Dawn has a lot of lot of them. Looks like only about half were used. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. I'm just, I'm still amazed that this house didn't collapse. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Oh, and this is where all the homeschooling happened. Our family history, fact or fiction. I thought she didn't talk about the family history. Multiplication tables, oh boy. Oh, what books are up here? Mathematics 1. Geography, probably? May have everything is fiction. Maybe. Maybe. Stop, drop, and roll. Testing for truth. Something to... It is really hard to read these books. Writing. Sorry, I'm just going to assume they're all school books. Projector screen. Nice view. <laughs> Figure out your family history by process of elimination. I think there's been a lot of eliminating. Odin Finch. Myth. History. The curse. Sorry, the curse. Okay. Oh, books. Dungeon Master! So that's the second D&D book we've seen. Game on! World History 2. Um, given that they don't give us the author names, I think some of these are a little miscategorized, like kingdom and kingdom and countries is probably what that says. Like that's in the A through D section. Uh, same with Snow Crash. I don't know. I think they did a really bad job. I think they did a really bad job alphabetizing those to teach and to learn by Dawn Finch. Oh. 
Interesting. Most of the lights are buzzing. That's not background noise for me, that's just the game. Scientific method, observation, question, research, hypothesis, experimentation, data, and conclusion. You need a few more arrows going back to hypothesis. Relief efforts end in disaster. Oh, that's how the dad died. Okay, of all the photos, this one looks the most just photoshopped. Um, I'm guessing that the baby is Edith. So, it must be Lewis Milton. So, Lewis on the left, Milton on the right. Oh, something smells good. Okay. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Do we go in there now, or do we continue up? We go in here, because there's definitely more story the other way. Let's take a look around, though. Oh, door's probably locked. It's unfortunate when I'm like, okay, so I think that the story continues this way. And then the game's like, no, it actually continues this way. Oh, yeah, it's boarded up. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. I see. My slot. And I see that he also doesn't have... He doesn't have a date on his door. Even though we know when he disappeared. They didn't want to confirm. That's supposed to be. We also have a boat. Wait, is this okay? I haven't played it yet, but um, the unfinished swan is that is that game a continuation of Milton's story? I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Because just from just from the trailers I remember like this looks very similar. And I think that is that one even just part of maybe not the trailer but like the title card. Like, just very, very heavy. Like that. I'm pretty sure that scene was shown in the trailer. Okay. Okay. Um, I am planning on doing the Unfinished Swan probably next week. Next Wednesday. Assuming things don't go haywire, because... There's just a lot of stuff going on right now for me. But yeah, if things go as planned, I do want to play the un Unfinished Swan next week. D 
definitely interesting that he does all black and white for the most part. It's cool that I recognize it despite not having played. It was the art style of it that really caught my attention. So I think that's why. And I did look at it not that long ago, although it was about a month, so it was on sale for quite cheap. Uh, both games were, so I got them at the same time. Okay, here we go. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. He even has a little mustache. It's cute. Um. Um. Oh, okay. Achoo! Okay, building a doorway and then a knob. Can we watch that again? I feel like I missed something. I was four when Milton disappeared. Alright, well, when we go into the next game, I'm just going to assume, until proven otherwise, that it's just a continuation of Milton's story. I wonder why he put, like, a little mustache on his stuff. Probably because he, he was a kid and he thought it was cool or fun, which is great. Okay. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Oh. Okay, no. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Whatever he had found in the house. I feel like it really keeps alluding to that monster, as if it's real. But at the same time, I just noticed that these faces are completely black. I didn't actually notice what they were before, only that they were some sort of blockade. Oh, another wind chime. This one is kind of like a little birdhouse. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Mm. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Somehow, I don't think we'll be walking up the stairs. This one's Lewis's. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Well, his is cool looking. Oh, and a hookah lamp. <laughs> I see. <laughs> he was a stoner. That probably explains why the others didn't want him going in, or didn't want her going in there. Cool, that's a boat. Lewis's and an exercise. Very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I just turned around. I didn't say to go. Okay. Okay. We will walk forward and then start moving the camera. Okay. I feel like that right there is very familiar looking. 
It makes me think like um, Dracula type stuff. Is that based off of something? I feel like... I feel like it is. Legalize marijuana. Well... You only have to wait a few more years. I'm just saying. Then move to Oregon. We can just go to Portland anyway. I'm sure you would have liked it. High school diploma! Castlevania vibe? Yeah, yeah. Castlevania vibes are what I was getting. You know, stoners do have really good art for a lot of stuff. Like, I gotta give it to him there. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. That makes sense. Gives him something other than cursed family to think about. Wonderland Turbo. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. That's cute. Definitely PlayStation. Lewis Finch locker contents. It's probably a bong. It's probably what that is. And more of those beer cans! And another ashtray! And more pills! The Red King's Dream. It reminds me a lot of that... of that kid's story where... it's like a king of the beasts or something like that. Like the wild king. Where where the wild things are. That's it. Just the hat and striped shirt. It reminds me of that. So we got Faust, Trust Me, Withering Heights, Through the Looking Glass. Uh, looks like just a lot of like classic movies here. The Trial. And it's interesting that he's on movies, not books. The rest of the house is all books. This guy's gone digital. Oliver Twist, Peter Pan. Uh, Treasure Island. We the Media. Looks like some figurines. And I do think I called those figurines, not dolls, like the rest of the house. Ooh, this dude's even got gamers set up. Look at that, you can tell because WASD are highlighted. Oh yeah, this was a gamer kid. Dual monitors. We, we got a gamer here. He gaming. And, and a ball has a chair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. San Juan Ale. Oh, hey, we actually do have some real books up here, too. Stop, drop, and roll. Testing for truth. Looks like a lot of the same ones that were in the classroom. Okay. Oh, I guess there are more actual books over here, too. It looks like more school books. Hmm. Greater Sage. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. 
As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't do it the fish away with it. Part of In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to. Wait, wait, let me grab the mouse thing. the mouse thing. Wonder. Oh. Oh. Okay. I asked him going to, to the right. It. He said he started small. his way about. Multitasking is not my new. strong suit. <laughs> Bats. And toads. What if we just keep following the wall? Okay. Cool skeleton. Oh, it's dragon. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. <laughs> I see. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Can I start shooting fireballs? Oh my gosh. I think I need to drop my mouse sensitivity for this. <laughs> okay. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Just in case he cuts his hand off. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. Hmm. It's never good when people say a whole new person. I feel like what it really means is, oh, they're just not themselves anymore. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Hey, pupper. Come on. On the edge of a city, he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Yay! Everybody's so happy! And songs for them to play. Talked about starting a band. <laughs> oh and he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Bum, 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 bum. Yay, fish puppet! <laughs> 
He no longer spoke at the cannery. I mean, oh, look, the border's growing. I didn't notice that before. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one How day long until he cuts off his head, hand? At all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. More fish. And thus he became king. He held an election for mayor. Oh. Mayor? It's and a crown. <laughs> of course they have him slide down a pole. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. I mean, if you get elected into mayor, you probably should stay. It became a game for him. Lewistopia, goodbye. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Ooh, I wonder what the words say. New Lewis form. Oh, I think they're in Hindi. Sure looks like it. St. Louis. <laughs> well, I'm glad the boat can't break because I very much. Yum, I'm not doing a good job sailing. Ah. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Minneapolis Lewis. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Why do they keep feeding him fish? Like, if if they want him to go home, why keep giving him fish? In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a. A uh, handsome queen, obviously. Or maybe we should go for the femboy. We're going for the femboy. Beautiful prince. Yes. Sail straight through. Hard choice. It is a hard choice. If the I can call Mal Stofo, I'd be happy. Sinister serpents. Heck yeah. Sinister That's serpents. way more fun. Oh no! Oh, okay. I killed I killed the serpent. <laughs> ah Oh, I failed to kill him. He followed the sound of his Silver harp. Because that sounds much more fantasy. I wonder how long it's been since the dude ate. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, all right, we can't even see it. <laughs> he knew the world was all in his imagination. How many more fish? Oh, the dude has a fish tail. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. So, I just want the narrator to continue for a little bit. Have you ever heard of a game called, um, How Fish is Made? There's just something about this part that's kind of reminded me of that. 
Yeah, it's a very silly, very Someone short game. It's free. I think it was overwhelming. Um. Oh, that's what it looks like. Interesting. Um. He looks like the the bad guy chancellor wizard dude from um. Dragon Prince, that's what's called. Yeah. But anyway, um, how fish is made. That one, I'm pretty sure it's on Steam. It's free, it's like half an hour. And then it's it's interesting. That the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. I always find it very funny when a large door has a tiny door in it. I understand the purpose, just because you don't want to open the giant door every time. But, oh. Oh. That is very pretty. Alright, so we got more cleaner. Oh, I can't zoom in this time. Rainbow glory. Eggshell and animal. More cleaners. That looks like laundry detergent. Nice radioactive green. All of these freaking bottles have the recycle symbol on them. Something cannery. LP Brown Cannery. Mmm. Also, that is a lot of blood on the floor. And just a nice bloody mop. I don't think I could work in a place like this. Just more cleaners. Oh, his locker. You can tell because it has... It's definitely not a DS. Imperial Palace. It's Chinese food. Jeez, did he even eat that stuff at work? He began to forget the world we know. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I mean, all of these people end very tragically, but still. Why does it look like the fish are actually swimming? I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Is that him? Jeez, just all these fish. All these headless fish. More headless fish. No, fish heads. And some just bits. I do really like salmon. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Yeah, that's him. Okay, before we kill ourselves. Okay, I can't climb onto that one. A lot of these are so huge. There's also a manga just about salmon. I'm just saying, it's it's an odd read. It's a very strange read. I think he missed. Sir. I think you're missing the fish. 
You need to go a little bit further to the left. Alright, well, we're going out the window. I don't know why there's a conveyor here. I still thought I could save him. We're taking it. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Hmm. Hello, my subjects. The would be packed with his companions. Yes, cheer for me. It's so exciting, isn't it? We're becoming king today. King. Calico. All right, we're just gonna walk. Walk, walk, walk. Oh, come on. I see. I see. It's Molly. She's <laughs> just after her dream where she became the cat. That just. Also like how how they're definitely wearing like more Indian flavored garb. Like that's a nice touch. And the entire palace is very Arabian looking. Okay, so that's him with the torch. And then receiving the crown and sailing the ship. Oh jeez, I just realized how loud the game is. Do you guys want me to turn down? Bend down his head. A fish. A nice fish guillotine. We knew it was coming, but... Yes. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Jeez. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. All right. We are still missing Edie and Dawn. The last two. And Sven. We don't have... We don't have one for him either, but I think that's mostly because he married into the family. Keep hitting escape to try and get out of it and it doesn't work. Oh. There's the doll of the king. Or the, the beautiful prince. Oh, and these were his followers. The two figurines here. Actually, I didn't look at that box. Theater's quality cigars. Oh, and fish scale pillows. Those kind of look like fish eyes to me. I'm not sure about the whole spiral thing, but there were like the serpent tentacles. Oh no. Alright. No one 
did we find? From Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Hmm. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Honestly, she was probably just trying to avoid the conversation for as long as possible. Avoid trying to let Edie... I wish we'd stayed. Trying to keep Edie from um, either talking her out of it or otherwise convincing her to I stay. I understand why we left. Another kitchen box. Well, actually, I can't say another kitchen box. We saw a living room box earlier. So this must all be her mom's stuff. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. There's a portrait on the wall there. Two of them, actually. Or pictures, anyway. A rosary. Uh... I can't read that. Something Island. Happy 90th birthday. Maybe that's what was on the wall there. Or maybe... And there was... Is? A cross right there? More of her books. Uh, okay, well that's definitely a prayer. I... I can't read it. Yeah, no. Disaster relief. Oh, the husbands. Or the dads. Sanjay Kumar. Party decorations up. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. And then this was her room. Cute little cat- or fox doll. Paper birds. Not cranes, though. Probably paper finches. And a kite. More stuffed animals. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. All right, time to run all the way back down. We missed some dialogue by the beach. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Just a full-on paper version of the house. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go all the way down. Oh, hey, that's the same jellyfish. That's the same type of jellyfish that Molly had. Actually, a lot of these are the same. Interesting that all of these are unlabeled books. Were they just like a bunch of sketchbooks? They're organized by color, but that's about it. Norwegian folk tales. Another paper boat. Oh, the stuff from her brother. Oh, the frog. A seal, shark, deer. Is that just a door? I think so. 
I have no idea what that was. The king with his soldiers again. Joining the great... Oh, join the great majority. Mummification, Tales from Beyond, a book of martyrs? The Magic Mountain. It's really hard to read those titles. Just a bunch of jumbled letters. Oh, from the Little Light Globe. She also had another one over here. Interesting. Another butterfly. Her stuff really feels much more like a mix of everybody else's. Just a crowd picture. Beach picture, probably her and her mom. Uh, something folded. Maybe fantastically folded? Oh, something about paper king. Or paper crafting. The science of paper crafting. Okay. And then Edith. A feather pen! Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. I thought it was going to be a cutscene where I had time to shove food in my face. I guess not. <laughs> More books. Homeschooling Essentials. King in Yellow. Swan's Way. Time and the Gods. The Book of Wonder. Alright, where am I going? It's supposed to be the hallway. Hallway. The power had been shut off that morning, but... Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Oh, different gloves. Um, can we, can we get through? All right, what's in here? More cuisine, secrets of the stove, walk of tempura, the pillars of Japanese cooking, the hunter's roast, viking's belly, a lot more just cooking books again. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Where are we going? Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? The nursing home. They're just full on putting her in a nursing home. 
History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. Um, don't go out, run. <laughs> If the tide goes way, way out, that means, that means a tidal or a tsunami is coming. You run. If you ever see the water go out like that, you run. You run the other way and you try and get up as high, as stable as you can. I was going to say as high as you can, but you don't want to be on top of that house. You run. <laughs> they called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. I'm sure it did. I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Well, we're just going straight. Until we can't go straight anymore. No, we're not going to turn around. <laughs> we're going around the rock. For a while, I wandered. I should still be over here somewhere. I started seeing things. Well, hello, dear. Hello, dearie. Oh, goodbye. I'd forgotten had ever existed. Oh. Hello. But when I bed? saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Old stove. The toilet. Or maybe I came back to them. And the house. What? Uh, is that a statue? Oh, it's like, um... It looks like one of the dwarves from... From Snow White. Oh, where's the old lady now? Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Eat it. What are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna no. rip it! Let go! No! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. No! The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. I've done that. <laughs> I've done that we a lot. tried to make the best of it. The, the hand thing, even as an adult, is fun. Oh. A few years went by. <laughs> Words. My mom didn't like to talk yes, about it. Yes, in hand. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive.
until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. Are we being birthed? <laughs> Is that what's going I on here? You'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, of course. Of course she died too. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Story by Giant Sparrow for, for Shirley Dallas, 1948 to 2013. Ian Dallas, cre creative director. Joshua Sharp Surf. <laughs> I cannot spell. The people. I got one achievement. <laughs> <laughs> the end. I missed all of the others somehow. San Juan Ale. I wonder... I wonder why they put that again. Milton. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the unfinished swan. I think that'll be an interesting... Just an interesting... Probably more of a spiritual successor rather than an actual continuation. Achievement unlocked. Thanks, Joan. Oh, I wonder if all the achievements are just for watching the credits. <laughs> I like the picture for the 2D artist, just splattered paint. The froggy. to know how in the world the person who did the Dreadful Stories comic Oh, Unfinished Swan actually came first? Oh. See, I thought that Edith Finch was first. I still really like that underwater painted room. Not enough painted saw blades, though. 
Not enough, they needed more. There were some that weren't painted in the house. That's just unacceptable. Like, if, if you have one, you gotta have multiple, you know? I do wonder how Edith ended up dying. I mean, it's possible she died during childbirth. But... Trick or treat, smell my feet! <laughs> The Edith Finch team. Oh, it's cute. They made a giant. <laughs> I love how there's just a dude at the very bottom. The classic. The end. Oh, there's the drawing of Dawn. Come on. The replay story option is now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. Okay. Alright. Well, I think we're probably going to call it there. That was a really good game. That was a good game. Definitely looking forward to Unfinished Swan next week. Probably. It'll probably happen. I'm, I'm expecting it'll happen. Yeah. Um, purposefully drowning a baby was probably the darkest thing I did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Drowning baby was probably the darkest thing I did today. Alright, well, thanks for coming, everybody. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And, um, the next planned stream is Friday for more Lobotomy Corporation. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, other than that, I'm not planning on having any gorilla streams, but you know, they are gorilla streams. So, um, I think the Wednesday streams, I might, I might start them at the same time as I did today. So the 2 PM, uh, PDT, I mean, yeah, yeah, 2 p.m. PDT or 5 p.m. EDT. So I might start doing that. Um, I'll definitely post on Twitter and Discord day of. But I think they might work a little better than the usual 12 p.m. Um, Friday, though, I am starting at 12. Because I, I want more Lobami Corporation time. I might even start earlier. I don't know. But the Bob Corporation, that one eats many hours very, very quickly. So yeah, I like starting early with that one. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything left to really say for this one. Other than good game. Excellent game. Well, I'm glad you popped into the stream. Yeah, thanks for joining, Lewin. Okay. And with that, let's see... Let's see how many people are here and if it is worthwhile raiding today. I don't have the thing up right now. Yay! Da -da 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 -da. Stream manager. Here we go. Uh, okay, we got five people here, so... Let's... Let's find something. Um... Ah, here we go. Alright, we've got a very chill streamer that we can raid into, so... Be very nice to Sefanari when we raid into hers, okay? Uh, 
she is currently streaming Final Fantasy 14. So. All right. Um, okay, I'm just going to put on the... Okay, there we go. All right. As always, thanks for joining. Be kind. And here we go. Kind of. Ten seconds. Okay, we'll drop down to two viewers, but that's okay. All right. And away!